I am a dancer. I have a bad. Well, I I took dance late in life. Um, I took it around 15, 16. I knew I had a lot of height, um, and I picked it up uh, quite quickly. So uh, awareness of body, I really enjoyed, and I've been doing that since. Started today with movement with Phil Nero. Then we did uh, voice work, uh, followed by lunch. Then after that, we did some prep technique work on uh, the glass menagerie with Tom Wood, yourself, and then we did some improv at the end of the day. The improv, you know, at first first few days I was terrified to do it as an actor uh, because I think as much as I like to take risks and think that I, I'm open to failing, I think ultimately that's a really hard thing to do. You can say it, but in order oh. to be in the act of doing it, not the same thing. So um, it's great to embrace that failure and to be able to take risks and sometimes fall flat and, and know that you can learn from that. I thought it would be similar to, to theater school. Um, I went to Ryerson um, and so the structure is the same but I'm at a new place in my career, a new place in life um, where I think I've been able to have a bit of a breath from the technique and really understand it. And now I'm really, the things that I do know, I'm able to reapply. And I think uh, the biggest success for me is when I can go into the improv class, I can go into the prep technique class, dance voice and say yes. And, and say yes to, to anything and, and still be able to see how that connects back to me as an actor on stage. That, um, oh, someone might think, well, if I'm going to be a certain kind of actor, why would I need improv? Or why do I need dance when I'm never going to do uh, musical theater? Uh, for me, it's a whole body. Um, it's my instrument, and that's what I use on st stage. So I think just that keen um, uh, sense of, uh, of, of realization that um, an empowerment of those things. Um, and being really, really aware of it, where maybe in the past I had not been aware of it.